My uh, classmates and I were all very young when the Vietnam War ended. But we were old enough to realize that war was bad. And all of the posters had pictures and words that came across as talking about how war was bad. What's interesting about that is that I attended the eighth grade at MacArthur Junior High School, named for General Douglas MacArthur, the famous US military hero. You see, my junior high school was on the US Army base at Fort Meade, Maryland. Every child in that class had a father who was in the military. Now, even though we all had dads that were in the military, every poster had a negative image and negative words about war, except for one, a boy named Craig. Now, Craig wasn't a boy that stood out. He wasn't a great scholar. He wasn't a great athlete. But that day, Craig stood out. On his poster, in thick, Black letters were the words, war is hell, but sometimes necessary. <laughs> war is hell, but sometimes necessary. I don't remember the pictures that were on my poster. I don't remember the words that were on my poster. But I remember Craig's words. War is hell, but sometimes necessary. Those words made me think. Well, at first I was shocked because he used a curse word, <laughs> and after all, we are in the eighth grade. But what really stuck with me was how it made me think. It was contrary to what everyone else in the room had said. It made me really think, and it stuck in my mind so much so that I still remember that words 32 years later. So, if you don't want to have a boring technical presentation, consider having a contrary viewpoint in your presentation. Now, this is not advice that I give lightly. It takes a lot of courage to go against the expected norms. And it takes a lot of tact to challenge an audience's point of view without alienating them from yourself or from your message. But where you can, consider use, using a contrarian, contrarian position. Contrar being a contrarian works because just by definition it gets people to thinking. And if they're thinking, they're going to be involved. Now some people are going to be thinking with their arms crossed, saying, I don't believe what you're saying, and they're going to listen just until you get done so they can prove you wrong. But other people are going to be listening and going, you know, she might be on to something here. And they want to hear what you have to say. So where you can, when you can, find a contrarian viewpoint and bring that out. That will make your audience stick. And if they're interested, if they're engaged, they won't be bored.